Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer and we are back with a Nottingham Forest transfer update. I don't think Forest have made an actual signing in a couple of weeks, which has been a little bit mad for Nottingham Forest. Of course, many signings have had to come in, but it looks like another two are on the way. And guys, in today's video, I'm going to go and speak a bit about both of these signings as well as talk about why I think they're such important additions to this Nottingham Forest team. But guys, before I jump into the video, as always, please do me a massive favour, hit that like button. And if you are new here or just haven't subscribed yet, please do think about subscribing well as well. And let's jump straight into it and let's talk about the player that we already know is definitely coming in, Mr. Frula. Yes, he is joining Nottingham Forest from the Italian team Atlanta for £9 million plus add-ons. This is a very good signing for me. Um, the 30-year-old defensive midfielder who's got a, a number of Swiss caps, I think 46 appearances at a national level. He's a seasoned pro. He, he's someone that I feel the team needed. He's someone that uh, is coming in. He's going to have a lot of experience to give. And importantly, he was one of the uh, most prominent players at Atlanta over the past couple of seasons. Obviously, he's, he's been quite a long time there. I think it was 2016 he joined there. So he's been there for a significant period of his career, really. And he does come in and join in the Premier League, bringing his experience with him, bringing his in-game know-how, and also probably bringing some confidence to the team as well. Um, he is, for me, he's a natural leader. He's someone that really commands that middle of the park, that defensive area. And he's confident and strong, more importantly, both on the ball and also defensively getting the ball back. Now, he's predominantly a defensive midfielder. He'll do the hard work. He will win the ball back, as I said. He'll be strong in possession. He likes to um, quickly release the ball. Short passes are one of his main strengths. He also, to be fair to him, for a defensive midfielder, contributes quite a fair goal involvements as well. In fact, in his 202 Serie A um, appearances, he has contributed... Uh, combined 33 goals or an assist, which is, I think, a pretty decent outlay for especially a defensive midfielder. So as well as doing his defensive responsibilities, he will also, you know, come in and he will um, contribute the odd goal, contribute the odd assist. And I think what we, you're really gaining here with this £9 million is first uh, pound sign is firstly, it's a bargain. You're getting a season pro in. And yes, he, you know, he's 30. For me, 30 is a it's not an over-the-hill age, especially with these athletes that these days they have all the additional uh, resources to them and stuff. We're seeing players go on to play longer and longer in their career if they they commit to the right way, commit to the right training methods. Um, so 30 for me, you know, you're still going to get a long period of time out of him. Um, and I think he's coming with an experience and know-how and he'll really come and offer a lot to this Nottingham Forest team. But as well as Mr. Frula, we've also got this man to speak about because it has broke. But a lot of clubs have been after this guy, by the way. I've seen my club, Wolverhampton Wonders, linked. I've seen Newcastle linked. I've seen a number of Premier League clubs linked with this man. I've got a fly flying around my head. Um, but Emmanuel Dennis does look to be heading to uh, Nottingham Forest. It has been revealed that they have met the release clause of 20 million. The talks are now in the advanced stages as I record this. And obviously, Dennis wanting a route back to the Premier League. It's not considered a problem uh, from him either. Of course, what's really interesting about the signing of Dennis is the fact that he had such one, he had such a great first year in the Premier League, but also the profile of striker he is and how that's different to um, obviously Awanui, who was another big striker signing for not and Forest. And of course, the main addition for obviously with Dennis as well is he, as well as being a striker, he can also play out wide as well, which is obviously beneficial. It gives that kind of um, combination of positions he can play. And maybe obviously the little setback that Forrest have had with Morgan Gibbs White, um, you know, ultimately this guy can play out on the wings. He can also play in the centre. Um, he might tick off two boxes in one. Um, as I said, very different player to Awanui. You think about Awanui being tall, he's strong, he holds the ball up well. To be fair, both of them have pace. That's something that they both have in common. 
Dennis is a bit of a, a, a different player to that. You know, um, he gets in behind. He, he's, he'll run in behind. He'll use his pace. Um, he's not really a player that ultimately holds up the ball, um, but that's not the kind of striker he's going to be. And I imagine the striker profile that Forrest know to get in with this player. Number three, obviously, I have alluded to the fact he also had a really good first season in the Premier League, picking up 10 goals and six assists. Now, what makes that even more impressive is when you actually look at Watford's Premier League stats, only 34 goals were actually scored by Nottingham, uh, by Watford last season, which actually means that Dennis pretty much had a contribution in nearly 50% of those. I think it works out to about 45%, which is just absolutely incredible and shows that what such a good, great first season he had. I think he comes in 24 years of age with um, such, you know, he'll continue to improve. But someone that you know is able to perform in the Premier League, of course, that's an additional bonus in itself. It will give Cooper yet another option as a striker, you know, adding something very different. This fly is still annoying me. But I think this is a very good signing. I think both of these are very good signings. And I think it's uh, another two great additions to Nottingham Forest. So, guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you excited for both of these signings? Um, which one are you more excited for? And is there anything else that Nottingham Forest may need going into this season? Because I think the squad's looking beefed up enough now. Obviously, the amount of signings that have been made, it was very much needed. Um, but is there going to be any more? Is there a need for any more? Or are we seeing the final piece of the puzzle with these two signings and what Steve Cooper has got to work with? Guys, hit that like button. Please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll catch you on another video. Take care. Have a good weekend and goodbye.